Right folks, I want to talk to you today about this stuff, the new Fuka Sensei liquid attractant. Now this has proved really, really popular since we launched it. Lots of brilliant catches being reported up and down the country, but also lots of questions about how you actually use it. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how I apply it to my course fishing here in the UK. So first things first, it's supplied as you can see in a bottle with a long plastic spout I actually cut the top off that to allow the uh, liquid to come out once I've got it and then as you can see there's a nice little plastic screw top lid that I put on top of there and that just helps stop it spilling out when it's in your bait bag. But the very first thing I do before I start the, the session is give it a good shake. I'm just making sure that all that goodness, all those attractants in that, in that Sensate bottle now are all mixed and you actually see with the colour at it that it all goes a nice pure red colour and that activates the liquid as well and makes it work really really well. So how do we use it? Well there's probably three main ways that I'd look to use it and I'm going to start with the most simple and that is applying it to a hook bait directly. Now this is really good if maybe it's a tougher session and you're targeting the odd bite or if you're sort of specimen fishing and you're after you know really big fish because this gives that hook bait that standout attraction that you're looking for so i'm going to show you how i do it with a two-in-one fat boy for the purpose of this video so obviously with easy direct hooker i just direct hook that need plenty of points showing and then i get the bottle and using the spout you have to be quite careful because you don't want to waste them if you're a tight northerner like me you take your time with this if i just hold that there I'm just going to apply a drop, and that's all it needs, a drop direct onto the hook bait. And as you can see, I've took my time there, I don't want to waste any. But then I will use my finger just to smear that round. Now the beauty of this stuff is it actually contains a blocker, which blocks out bad odours, things like suntan cream or diesel or anything you've got on your hands that's a bit unsavoury. The chemical makeup of this attractant actually blocks those smells so never worry about getting it on your hands and rubbing it on the bait your hands might stink a bit after but the most important thing is the baits boosted with that attraction and now when you drop that in that smells really unique really distinct and uh, obviously it's got that potent sensate attractant all over it so that's that if you're on a typical commercial fishing session like we are today though, I mean adding a little bit of Sensate attractant to every hook bait is quite a, um, quite a task and it's going to slow you down through the day. And certainly if you're in a match and you're looking to catch, you know, 50 or 60, 70 carp and F1s, it's going to um, slow you down. So what I like to do on this sort of venue generally is actually put the Sensate liquid into my feed bait. And there's two ways to do that. If you're fishing with ground bait, which we're not today because it's not allowed here at Monk Hall, but if you're fishing with ground bait, add it to the water that you use to mix the ground bait. So all I'll do is I'll have a tub with the water that I'm going to use to mix the ground bait, and I'll just add four or five drops of this stuff to the water. I reckon a good guide is four or five drops for every kilo of ground bait. So four or five drops of that in the water. I'm going to show you what I do in a minute with that when I talk about the pellets but four or five drops in the water, mix it round and pour that into your ground bait and mix it. There's no real need for me to demonstrate that because everybody who fishes with ground bait knows that you use water to mix it. So add the sensate attractant to the, attractant to the water, add the water to the ground bait, mix it and obviously the ground bait soaks in that attractant. If you're fishing with fishery pellets like we are today, and that's something I am going to talk about, you need one of these, a strainer. Now, it's the same principle as what I talked about with the ground bait. What I like to do when fishing with fishery pellets is add, I'm going to say this about the same, about five drops. A couple more went in there. You'll see, as that's gone in, it's sunk to the bottom. Some of it's floated, but it's just in one area. So it's really, really important if I come down so you can see it. As I mix that round, it all disperses into the water. And that's how you want it. That's when, where my bait strainer comes in. These are absolute gold dust. I use the Guru ones, but there's other ones available. 
put that in the water like that and then add to that and there's some of these that are partially soaked so I will do it just so you get the idea but I'm not going to risk up my blue peter pellets that I made earlier but the idea is obviously when them pellets are in that water soaking you give them as long as they need until they're fully soaked and then you can use the strainer to lift the pellets out the water dribbles away and those are now impregnated with sensate attractant from the water so that's the beauty of that now I did say in blue peter fashion here's some I prepared earlier I'm going to have a good smell of these and I can tell you that they do whiff of sensate it's not the strongest smell I can smell the fish meal in there too and it might be that you want to really make your bait stand out so once you've got your, your pellets that are soaked in the water with the sensate if you want even more attraction what I like to do is add another four or five drops to the micas like that and then give it another mix round with your hands and that way you're getting the best of both worlds as I said, the downside to doing it this way, it's not as evenly distributed as when you put it in the water. But to be honest, I'm not going to be feeding one micro at a time. I'm probably going to be feeding, you know, 30 or 40 micros. So as long as I mix them thoroughly, I'm still getting that distribution through the whole bait tub. And they are actually absolutely lovely. So that's just another way if you want to add even more sensate attraction that you can do it. Generally, just adding the sensate to the water's normally enough i think to uh, to flavor the pellets enough to make a real difference to your session and you can see they're absolutely perfect fishery pellets and the beauty of them is the absolutely whiff of sensate okay one last tip hard fishery pellets you can see i've got the six mil hard pellets here at monk hall if you want to flavor them and i'm just going to get rid of the uh, get rid of the micros that i talked about earlier the fish will be enjoying them in a second. I'm going to use my strainer again actually. So that just acts as a bit of a block at the top of the tub. And what I'm going to do is add four or five drops of these hard pellets. Get the strainer, put that on top. Make sure it's obviously covering the whole tub if there's any holes. But then just shake it like that. take your time to do that because what you're trying to do is make sure that, that those droplets of sensate attraction are brushed against all those hard pellets and you can see there's actually a flex of red on most of them if you look through and again you can do the old sniff test they whiff of sensate attractant so there you are that's a few different ways that you can actually use a sensate attractant to flavor fishery pellets ground baits or give your hook bait a real boost. Thanks for watching folks and tight lines next time you're on the bank.